So the second part of this is adding a second image. So now you want to download image three. Hit the download button and drag and drop it on top of your image here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, control minus, go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. I would say about that large. And you want to place it about here on your canvas because we're going to mask it along this line here. So have it to where it'll be sticking out there. Now make sure you hit enter. And for this, we're going to do something a little different. Go ahead and select your magic wand tool. So occasionally it's easier to select the white background than it is to select the image. So I'm going to go ahead and click my white background. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the mask button. And this happens. So this is fine. How it works is because I selected the white background, it assumes that is what I want to keep. That's not necessarily true. I want to flip this. So to flip your layer mask, it's called inversing. You, you make sure your mask is selected here on the pair. And then hit control I and you'll see it flips the white to black and the black to white. That is inversing. And you'll see it looks how you want it to look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and over with my space bar. And like I did before, I'm going to lower the opacity so that way I can see this line here. So I'm going to get, grab my paintbrush, make sure you have black selected. Now I'm going to set my paintbrush to, I would say a size 30 again. So here you have 30. Make sure it's set to about a 95% hardness. And then I'm going to go ahead and mask out this side of the pair. And then as I get closer, I'm going to zoom in, make my brush a little smaller. So I'm setting it about to a size nine. And I'm going to carefully work along this edge. And you'll see I'm messing up a little bit. That is okay because I'm going to go back through. I'm going to switch to white. So I'm, I hit X on my keyboard and it switched this over to white. And I'm just going to touch up that edge one more time because we're going for perfection here. Okay, so go ahead and turn your opacity all the way back up to 100. And it should look like this. So from here, go ahead and save your work. And if you have time, go ahead and download an image online. So for example, if I um, go back to my Google Chrome, I can add a new tab. Let's say I want to add a frog, go to images. Let's say I want this little guy, right click. We're going to go to save image as, hit save. And we're going to drag and drop this down to Photoshop, size him down. I might flip him, maybe flip him horizontal. And then again, I'm going to use a selection tool. This I might use my quick select, select what I can, zoom in. I'm just going to repeat the process of masking and trying to make it look like he's tucked into that fabric again. Don't use this frog. Use anything you want. You can put a cookie in there, a cat. I don't care. But do keep in mind, if you, if you pick an object with a harder edge, it's going to be easier. If you pick like an animal, it's going to be a lot harder. So keep that in mind. Whenever you finish, uh, make sure you upload your work and um, submit it to Google Classroom.